we have derived the equation of motions of a two degree of freedom system and we can express them into a matrix form where m capital underscore denotes the mass matrix and k capital underscore denotes the stiffness matrix and to solve this equation of motion is by solving the determinant k minus omega square m equals to zero now to see how this works let's put a value for each mass and spring element in the system let's put m1 1 kilogram m2 2 kilogram k1 1 newton over meter k2 2 newton over meter and k3 also 2 newton over meter so let's see this metric k minus omega square m first where the stiffness metric is k1 plus k1 that is 3 minus k2 and minus k2 so we have minus 2 and minus 2 and k2 plus k3 which is 4 and then minus omega square multiplied by m where the mass metric is a diagonal matrix of 1 and 2 next we can multiply omega square to each element in the mass matrix so omega square multiplied by 1 is omega square omega square multiplied by 0 is 0 and omega square multiplied by 2 is 2 omega square so let me delete this one and next we can perform operations of element by element so the first element with the first element and the second element with the second element and so on so what we have is 3 minus omega square minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 and 4 minus 2 omega square and this matrix here must have determinant equals to 0 so how to calculate the determinant just a reminder here if we have a square matrix let's say ABCD the determinant of the matrix is the product of the diagonal element A multiplied by D and this is positive and element C multiplied by B and this is negative and what we have is AD minus CB so if we apply this to our matrix we have 3 minus omega square multiplied by 4 minus 2 omega square minus minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 so we have minus 4 equals to 0 all right I think the rest is algebra where we then we have 12 minus 6 omega square minus omega square plus 2 omega to the power of 4 minus 4 equals to 0 let's rearrange this one by putting 2 omega to the power of 4 at the front and minus 6 omega square minus 4 omega square is minus 10 omega square and 12 minus 4 we got 8 and this one is equal to 0 we can divide both sides of the equations by 2 so we have omega to the power of 4 minus 5 omega square plus 4 equals to 0 to change this into quadratic equations we can assume let's say omega a equals to omega square so then what we have is omega to the power of 4 becomes omega a square minus 5 omega a plus 4 equals to 0 so now we have quadratic equations as the functions of omega a we can find the roots by using the classical formula which is minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a 
but this is a simple quadratic equations that we can solve directly where 4 can be the product of minus 1 multiplied by minus 4 and where minus 1 plus minus 4 equals to minus 5 so we have omega a minus 1 multiplied by omega a minus 4 equals to 0 and thus we got the roots of omega a equals to 1 and omega a equals to 4 because omega a equals to omega square then the first omega is 1 and the second is 2 thus the natural frequency of the system is omega 1 equals to 1 radian per second and omega 2 equals to 2 radian per second so the smallest value is the first natural frequency and the biggest one is the second natural frequency okay guys we have derived the eigenvalues from the differential equations or equation of motions or the first and second natural frequency of the second degree of freedom system what we are going to look at next is for each natural frequency how the system will behave or what is the motions of m1 relative to m2 we will see in the next video that for the first natural frequency m1 and m2 will move in phase with the same magnitude of displacement and for the second natural frequency m1 and m2 will move out of phase with different magnitude of displacement so what we will calculate is the relations between x1 relative to x2 in other words we will solve the eigenvectors from the equation of motions thanks for watching and see you in the next video